Golden and Watson will jump. Let's play ball. Here's Durham. On the drive. Back outside. Watson. The line drive for Nate Watson. Durham from the free throw line. Got it. I think that sports hernia is feeling real good, Brad. <laughs> right now it's all Providence on the boards. Nobody from Richmond was even under there. Here's Durham for three. A little heat check. Al Durham. Sports hernia and not. It's looking good for Al Durham early on. Must have done a lot of yoga before this one. <laughs> a 7-0 start for Providence. Great pass by Golden. And finally an answer for Nathan Kao underneath. It's a luxury for a coach to have a five man that can step out of the perimeter and handle the ball and make passes like that. It really five, opens up the offense. Five assists the other night, five rebounds. Durham is feeling it. Wow, what a start for Al Durham. Looking for some offense here on this trip. Maybe it's Golden that gets it for him. Hook shot, got it. Oh, that's nice. The big fella showing the footwork really nimble in there. Just trying to slow Providence down, a little to token pressure, just to take a couple of seconds off that shot clock. Horkler, three on the way. Got it. And as somebody that's politically challenged, I'm jealous of both. <laughs> nice move. Strong move by Nate Kale. On the drive. Bynum off the mark. Rebound kept alive. Strong offensive rebound and the putback by Croswell. And Croswell picking right up where he left off. Horkler got open for a three and got it. Second one for him. No shot, no foul, just a block. And Providence going the other way. Horkler on a hook, got it. He's got eight already. Scoring drop that's over two and a half minutes long now for Richmond. Here's Burton for three. Yes. Just with the doctor order, they needed that one. Barkler working against Burton. And a three goes on the outside for Manaya. To only 30% from the field. Either way you put it, Providence is in control of this game. Golden, hook shot is good. It'd be Golden if they got him going. He's really, really confident once he gets into that, that mid-post area and he drives. There's an open three again, and it goes again. Just cannot leave these guys out there. Played like that Thursday against South Dakota State, too. A really high-powered team, and a lot of people were sort of saying, well, you know, they play a team that can score that many points, they might be in trouble. Well, right now, they're scoring all the points. Richmond's going to have to make an adjustment in their defense. Right now, they're getting smoked behind the three-point line. They can't continue to give Providence these good looks. Seven triples already. Here's K.O. Nice move. Drop step on the inside with the left hand. He's got six. Gilliard on the pick and roll again to Golden. There you go. Took his time. Big fella wasn't going to miss two in a row like that. And they point to their defense as the reason why they've gone on this win streak. Dropped their points allowed by about six points. All over the physical side of things is where they feel like they've improved. Some offense, I think, would put some pep in their step. But that's hard to come by right now. There's a good move by Grace over Horkler. That's an excellent footwork down there. Roswell thought about it. Now he'll drive on Golden. Up oh. and under and a finger roll. Okay now, Croswell. Don't do him like that, that big fella. Croswell's like, no, I, can, I don't have to slow down, coach, because I can do moves like this. The show and go. There's nothing over there. Buckets. He's got to give it up to Burton. Right back to Kale against Horkler in the paint. Baseline off the window. Nice move by Kale. A little bit tougher defensively than the Iowa ball club they just faced. A lot more connected, play together. Oh, oh he man. Just fell. Man, he's so hard. Right on his tailbone. Ouch. KO's going to drive right back from whence he came. Ten for Nathan Kale. See Coach Cooley's drawn up right here. Roswell says, I'm wide open. Harkler says, give me another three. Wow. That's excellent execution. Let's see what Watson can do. They're not going to double. He's going to have the chance to play down and go. Oh. Big we fella see. with a jump stop and then a hook. Al Durham, who had the big early start. The couple of threes, eight points in the first half. Five on the shot clock. He'll take one here. Got it.
They start out in a horn set with his just two bigs at the top of the key, get a pick and roll, and they finish the playoff with a double pin down on the weak side. That one's tipped in. Manaya gets it back to Horkler. Another three, and another one goes. Horkler came in a 40% three-point shooter, and he's having one of those nights. Kao's trying to keep the Spiders in this thing. Gilliard's got to have one go in, and it's just way off. And Burton fell down. The Richmond faithful thought he was pushed down. Durham on the drive. And Watson on the inside thought he was pushed, but he did the pushing. He does kind of resemble Aquaman. Look, that's a compliment. Yeah. What's Aquaman's real name again? Uh, Momoa. Yeah. Yeah. They say he's a real handsome man. They say he's a real handsome guy. <laughs> Try and get their body back, but you're right. It looks like they're gassed. Gilliard still looking for some offense. There it finally goes for him. That press got him back in, too. Richmond might have to take something out of Baylor's room. Nice pass inside of Watson. Reeves just drilled that thing. It's an offensive clinic on, on the offensive side of the basketball for Providence. They're getting anything they want, whether it's open threes, inside post up, offensive rebound. You name it, Providence is getting it, and they're getting it easy. Just blew the bunny. He was right there. Just take his time and go up smooth. Gilliard in traffic lays it off to KO beautifully. Game that's been all Providence. On the cut, Barkler fadeaway jumper. Wow. How smooth has he been, partner? That's good looking. And I keep talking about the Providence half-court execution. It's because they're running a clinic. Oh, wow. Horkler doing it on both ends now. Trying to make the highlight plays. They've just continued to be a hard-working, gritty team. And, man, they are just executing so well both ends. As you see K.O. with a nice drive right there. After the four games we had that were all close on Thursday, uh, we probably had one of these coming, I guess. Everybody gets one of these. From time to time, underneath. I think Crosby was going to miss the layup anyway. It was coming off. The Golden got went up there and got it a little bit early. I think so, too. Oh, great and Golden up. on the inside. Nice look. Seven on the shot clock for Bynum. He's going to try three. It's just that kind of night. Why not? Spiders come the other way. Well, nice, nice pass. pass. I'm telling you, man, the big fella's got some tricks out there on the perimeter. Better than almost any team I've watched this year as far as when it comes down to running multiple sets and getting good looks. And they don't give an inch and they fight on that glass. Yeah. As we see Watson fighting inside. Fight him with a left hand. Ooh, I like that one. Nifty. Oh, what a pass. Now to Gustafson from Gilliard. I mean, they're still guarding Gilliard. He can't find any space. Even when he makes a good move, there's a Providence defender there to help him yeah, out. Yeah, there is. Somebody needs to shoot. Yeah, there's the shot. So their, their teammates are really happy when they get a chance to shine in these moments. Four on the shot clock. And the shot goes for Alan Breed. And the season will go on for the Providence Friars as Andrew Fonts with the ball in hand, pumps the fist, 